Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if your Windows 10 device is not recognizing a second monitor hookup. So in this brief tutorial I'll be showing you guys how to ensure that both monitors are blade properly on your device. So this is going to be a pretty straightforward tutorial and we're going to jump right into it. And we're going to start by opening up the start menu and we're going to type in settings. The best match that comes up should say settings right above trusted Windows Store app. You want to left click on that. So now in the settings window, what you want to do is left click on the system tile. Should be the first one listed here. And now underneath display, if you do not see one and two, if you only see a one box, that means only one monitor is being detected, which most of you guys should know by now if you're coming on this video. However, if for some reason you're not showing a second one, you can left click on identify here. And it'll tell you which monitor is being currently displayed or which one you're currently viewing. And if you left click on the detect button, it'll try and find another one if you are currently unable to. And it should say display not detected. And that is what we are trying to resolve in this tutorial today. So I'm going to close out of the settings window once we've determined that. And I'm going to head over to the start menu and I'm going to type in device manager. The best match that comes up should say device manager right above control panel. So you want to left click on that. So now in the device manager window you want to left click and expand the display adapters view by either double clicking on display adapters or left clicking on the little arrow next to it. Now there should be a display adapter listed here. You want to right click on it and then left click on update driver software. It's going to ask you how do you want to search for driver software. Left click on search automatically for updated driver software. So just be patient this might take a moment. So it says the best driver software for your device is already installed. Windows has determined the driver software for your device is up to date. I recommend going back to the settings window and see if you can detect the second monitor at this point. If you're still experiencing problems, you can actually go online and manually download the driver software. So if you're wondering how to do that, you can actually right click on the display adapter here and then left click on properties. And then you go underneath the driver tab at the top It'll tell you the driver version right here, followed by the name of the driver up top. In most cases, it should say NVIDIA, AMD, Intel, something along those lines. And then what you would do is manually go online and search up those drivers. So if you wanted to do a more automatic approach to that, it's very simple. If we just close out a device manager. So if you opened up any web browser here as if we were going to download driver software on our own, Let's say we were going to try and download an AMD driver and you would pretty much replicate this for whatever driver software you're looking for but let's just say AMD is our company here. So we're going to do AMD driver update or something a variation of this it doesn't have to be the exact same thing. So underneath download drivers on the Google page we can see there's something that says AMD driver auto detect. You could probably also Google that as well get directly to it. So we're going to actually open that up and most of the big guys do have an automatic driver detection tool. So at this point you would just left click on the download button right here. Keep in mind you're not going to obviously download AMD drivers for NVIDIA graphic cards and the same in reverse. So you want to make sure you're downloading the right drivers. And then at that point I would recommend refreshing that tool and if that doesn't resolve your problem I would definitely recommend restarting your entire system and then hopefully the second monitor should be detected at that point. So I hope this brief tutorial helped you guys out and I will catch you in the next video. Goodbye.